Welcome to the MBS Engineering channel. In today's video, we will discuss the law of gearing and gear ratio. In the upcoming slides, we will cover and understand the law of gearing and then gear ratio. Next, we will discuss the law of gearing. The law of gearing states that the angular velocity ratio between mating gears remains constant. To achieve the law of gearing or constant angular velocity, a normal at the point of contact between mating gear teeth always passes through the pitch point. Here pitch point is the point of contact between mating gear pitch circles. Please refer to the picture, to achieve the law of gearing or constant angular velocity, a normal at the point of contact between mating gear teeth always passes through the pitch point. Next, we will discuss the law of gearing. Please refer to the law gearing animation video. To achieve the law of gearing or constant angular velocity, a normal at the point of contact between mating gear teeth always passes through the pitch point. Next, we will discuss the law of gearing. The diagram below shows that the common normal at the point of contact between a pair of teeth must always pass through the pitch point for all positions of mating gears. This is a fundamental requirement that must be met while designing the profiles of teeth for gears. This law is essential for a gearing pair to function correctly. The animation demonstrates the blue line, which traces the path of the point of contact. Next, we will discuss the law of gearing. The following relation is the angular velocity of the mating gear is constant. Where, next, omega 1 is the angular velocity of driver gear in radians per second. Next, omega 2 is the angular velocity of the driven gear in radians per second. Next, n1 is the driver gear speed in rpm. Next, n2 is the driven gear speed in rpm. Next, D1 is the pitch circle diameter for the driver gear. Next, D2 is the pitch circle diameter for the driven gear. Next, T1 is the number of teeth for driver gear. Next, T2 is the number of teeth for driven gear. Next, we will discuss, what is the gear ratio. First point, a gear ratio can be defined as the ratio of the number of rotations, or rotational speeds of the two mating gears, i.e., driver and driven gears. Next, the second point, the gear ratio is the ratio of the number of teeth in the gear to the number of teeth in the pinion. Next, the third point, the gear ratio determines the speed and torque relationship between the gears in a mechanical system. Next, the fourth point is a high gear ratio will result in a slower speed but higher torque, while a low gear ratio will result in a higher speed but lower torque. Where, next, omega 1 is the angular velocity of driver gear in radians per second. Next, 
Omega 2 is the angular velocity of the driven gear in radian per second. Next, N1 is the driver gear speed in RPM. Next, N2 is the driven gear speed in RPM. Next, D1 is the pitch circle diameter for the driver gear. Next, D2 is the pitch circle diameter for the driven gear. Next, T1 is the number of teeth for driver gear. Next, T2 is the number of teeth for driven gear. We hope this video has helped you understand the law of gearing and the gear ratio. If you have any questions, please feel free to let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Thank you for watching.